Hey, how's it going? So I've been using Bash for a little while and every once in a while I stumble upon something I had no idea existed and then uh, I find out it does and it's kind of cool. So today we're going to be talking about CD path. So if you don't know what a path variable is in Bash, this is the wrong video for you. You should go look that up. Um, you know, but I've got a path variable, uh, but I also have a CD path variable right? or at least one can be set. So CD path. How does this work? So if I normally if I go into like a directory like downloads and I look here, I've got a cooldir, right? Uh, so if I type CD and I hit tab, uh, it's going to complete because that's the only directory that I've got here. Now, from here, right inside cooldir, I've got no directories at all. So if I hit CD and I hit tab, I've got nothing, right? Because there's no other directories that I can uh, get to relative to the current directory. Okay, what does CD path do? So I'm going to uncomment that variable, close that up, open this up. Okay, so now I've got uh, CD path, right? So CD path here, uh, it's expanding to a dot, right? Which means like the current directory I'm in, um, my home folder, and then my code folder. So if I go into CD downloads right now, okay, you see I've got cooldir in here, but if I type CD and I hit tab now, look at all these directories. So what it's doing is it's sourcing from my current directory, from my home directory and from my code directory, right? So from downloads, uh, I, I can actually probably go to downloads and be back in my downloads directory, right? So I've sourced it. Um, so I've gone from the home directory to the downloads directory, right? Uh, but also in my code directory, I've got a project called snap, right? So I can do CD S and I hit, oh, there we go. Auto completes to it, snap, okay? So let's go, here's my code directory again, right? So uh, I'm in here and like obviously I can auto complete anything in here. So if I want to do webcam, I can do that. But if I do capital D, there we go. So it's sourcing things from my home folder, right? Downloads, Dropbox, uh, dot files, which is actually in the current directory. Cool. So yeah, I don't know. Is this a good idea? Like there's a lot of different ways to do this. How I normally um, navigate to directories, I use um, FCF and I've got like a hotkey, which is like alt c or z or something i'm not sure and then uh, i can just type something here so i type dot files and there's my dot files or i can type downloads all right that's how i normally move things uh move directories but but this is kind of cool being able to like get to my dropbox folder from anywhere i don't know will i keep using this i'm really not sure if you've ever used this and like this is something you like please let me know why you like it uh kind of interesting okay hope that was at least a little interesting bye